Neon green screen. Text, new normal, and embodied novel in thick, yellow-lined lettering. Then in white, dusk to dark audience participation. And in black, performance for camera. Ringing a bell with this finger. Okay, so put your right finger, right hand up, and just like, bing, like ring a bell. It's just, that is the move. And the whole point is that we just watch ourselves ring the bell. We do it once up to our right, stop in the name of ding, and then we move then it diagonally across to our heart. And you, and you look at your finger each time. And then down, ding. Here we go. Margaret stands on a patch of clover between the sidewalk and the road. Behind her, about 20 dancers stand in two long lines, and behind them, the train yard fence. Like a choir director facing away from her choir, she leads them through the three-part gesture of dinging the bell. In pink, dance one, doing. Margaret grins cheekily. I'm slowing down now. The dancers behind her move carefully in sync. They watch their own right hands as they flow, ding the bell high, cross the body and ding at heart height, cross more and ding by the left hip. A gesture called stop in the name of love, opening the palm to the front, relaxing the arm. Slow, meditative, this hypnotic dance, everyone very focused. The romantic couples, the strangers who just met, the professional dancers, all carefully executing these gestures, reaching, dinging, repeating the short series of gestures again and again, unrushed. The evening light softens, blue-gray clouds filling the sky beyond. Ding up high, lower hand a bit, ding, cross the body, ding. Palm up, relax arm. Gaze is steady, looking up as hands lower by sides. Last one. Hold stillness. 